Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to draft a pattern in Adobe Illustrator. Let's jump in. I use Helen Armstrong's men's sloper back instructions. This method can be used for any type of pattern block. Your project will look like this. In the end, you'll have a graded pattern block with notches, labeling, and information. Create a new project that's 2000 by 2000 pixels with three artboards. You can grab this, that's the artboard tool, and you can drag your artboards to be horizontal. Place these three images. They're in a link in the description. Finally, arrange them on your artboard like this. We're going to draw our pattern block over here. We'll use the instructions here and the measurements right here. Okay, lock these layers and create a new layer over here. Now we'll create the basic measurements. So select the line tool and set to no fill and a color stroke of black set to four points. Step one is the A to B full length. Find full length over here on the chart. And remember that you're working on the back of the pattern. It measures 17.5. Over here, A to B is the top of the shoulder point to the waist. So click once and set your orientation to 90 degrees. It will be vertical. Change it to 17.75 and be sure you type in inches, I-N, not pixels. Selection tool and drag it down here. So before we go any further, let's go to document setup up here and change the units to inches. Now, every time we enter an amount, we won't have to change the units like we did last time. Now add an arrowhead to the bottom of the stroke. Go to the stroke panel, select the little circle, change the scale to 40. And the next step is A to D, that's across the shoulder. Find that measurement, line tool, make this zero, then eight and a half inches. It is now set to inches by default. Move that into position. Next step is B to E, and that's the center length from point B that we made down here to what will be the neckline up here. Line tool. Set the angle to 90, so it's vertical, at 16.75. Add an arrowhead at the top from the left drop down. Scale it to 40. Next step is B to F, from waist to chest. Uh, it is one half of B to A. And we're going to subtract one and one quarter inches for youth men's. Uh, in our case, we're going to subtract 1.5 inches for mature male. Use the full length back measurement, 17.75 divided by two equals 8.875 minus an inch and a half. 7.375 is your measurement. Grab the line tool, click it, add the measurement, and set the angle. Add an arrowhead and change it to 40%. Now move it into position. Next up is the chest, and it's confusing. That's because you think to use the across the chest measurement here, which is not big enough. Instead, look at the chest size here. It is 38 inches around. Because our patterns are one fourth of the body or one quarter of the body, we need to divide that number by four. So 38 divided by four gives us nine and a half. Click that with the line tool. 
Move it into position and add arrowheads. Next step is B to H. It's equal to F to G. Select it with your selection tool and we're gonna hold down Alt, Option key, click and then start dragging. And then while you're holding that, also hold down Shift. Then release the mouse, then release the Alt, Option, and Shift keys in that order. Next step is the same. C to I is equal, but we do not have a length over here. You can see in step one that we marked and continue the line to the desired shirt length. And since we're making a t-shirt pattern, it just makes sense to copy this line here the same way we just did. Okay, and then you can make copies of these lines using the Alt Option, click, drag, nothing that I just showed you, or just copy and paste it and move it with the selection tool. And this is so you don't have to remake these lines. Next step is F to J. Use a cross back plus half an inch measurement, and that equals eight plus the half inch, eight and a half. Set a zero degree angle. Add an arrowhead to each side. The next step is J to K. This part is a little confusing because J to M is here and we don't know what M is. In order to determine that, we need to look at the next step. Uh, and that is the shoulder slope. So shoulder slope for the back is 16 and 5 eighths. And you're gonna need a guide for this one. So you're gonna hold down shift while drawing any vertical line right here. And then use your selection tool to click and drag it into place. Create your shoulder slope line at 16 5 eighths. And then we're going to drag it into position. And we need to rotate it. So now let's use the rotate tool. And this will be your pivot point down here. So click once and then go up to the top and click and drag this over until we meet that guideline that we made. And that's point M make any further adjustments and add your arrowhead. The next step is J to K. It is one third of the size of J to M. So to calculate that, we need the total length and we'll use this, the measuring tool. Click once at the top and then once at the bottom and move your mouse out. And remember that number calculate that add that line and the arrowhead now okay, we can move that into position okay the next step is the shoulder length m to l with one inch past this edge and so we first need to add a guide. I'm going to make a one half inch line here and it will tell us how far to go. Move it into position. Okay, and our shoulder length is listed here, 5.75. Manipulate this one using both the selection tool and the rotate tool. Lastly, go in and add a line across the neck. Now we have the basic guidelines for a pattern block. Now we're gonna trace out the actual pattern block. So we're gonna grab a new layer, bring it up and call it pattern. Lock the other layers. Now use the pen tool with a colored stroke set to four points and trace the outline of the pattern following the arrowheads all the way around.
Once you're done, drag your pattern over to the right onto the third artboard. Make sure you have a white fill set and the stroke color. Go to File, Export, and Export using these settings. Be sure to have all of your artboards checked on, and make sure you have a white background. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to grade this pattern sizes small through XL, and I'll also show you how to add accurate pattern notches and sleeves.